Nakai and Bissett, the two in form athletes who should be right to the head of affairs here, but turning around again pretty quickly from Saturday as we get underway. They have asked for that world leading pace, Jenny, and that world leading time of 157.2 from Kelly Hodgkinson in Birmingham is going to take some getting. It is a tall order indeed. It was actually 157.20, the fastest time in the world for the last couple of decades. And she ran sub two in Birmingham as they take the bell then. There's four of them together. He hots go on the back of that group. Nikai is leading from the front. This is where she set out the whole of the race. Germa is still holding close contention. Vise, she finished really, really strong in the race the other day, overhauling Natalia Gull in the finishing stages. But it is Nikai off the bend with 50 meters to go. The world champion outdoors, Halima Nakai, now challenged down the outside by Catriona Bissett of Australia. Germa sneaking up the inside, and Nakai tying up and got caught both sides on the line. We need a photograph for that one. 2 0 0, just outside the winning time in the end. But Nakai gave it absolutely everything, but they engulfed her, and we will have to wait and see who got there. Well, certainly Nakai cannot be accused of not giving it her all there. She asked for a healthy pace. Just watching Katarina B say there, I think she thinks she's won it. She did a little bit of a fist pump. And indeed, we can confirm the Australian has took a really good win there. Only a second race ever indoors, Chris. 2 0 And I think she'll be thinking it's a good job she's come over from Australia. So a field of 11 plus two pacemakers. They're looking at that world record pace. They were targeting last week, although it very quickly faded away of Daniel Komen's 7.24.9. They've asked the pacemakers to take them through 1,000 meters in 2.29. Yeah, so just around about 30 seconds, just under 30 seconds per 200 meter circuit there. Chris, I wonder whether these three ever get sick of racing each other, you know, <laughs> week in, week out, uh, but we certainly don't get sick of watching them. Starts to get moving at the front now, having a little look out the corner of his eye. Berega from Wale, from Germa and Krop trying to hang on. Well, Berega is really grimacing now and he's really made a real long strike for home as I'm seeing Germa now really battling to hold on to that second position, but he's been overtook now by Wale. Berega it is with 50 meters to go and here comes Krop. Solomon Berega challenged again by Germa as he was in Levan, and it's an action replay. Germa up on the line again to beat Berega. This time, Krop gets third ahead of Getnet Wale, 7.31. And it is deja vu as Lamecha Germa takes victory for the second time in a few days. Germa himself has uh, run, what, half a second faster than that last week? Yeah, consistency, 7.30.5 the other day and 7.31.0 today. But Berega, well, he tried something a little bit different today. We know he likes to run from the front, but even drifting out there, Germa just seemed to have the measure of all the way. Even on the back, it looked like Germa was going to strike earlier than he did. And he decided, I'm just going to hang on here because I feel obviously feel very good. Crop was finishing strongly, but had too much to do. But Berega, well, he'll be getting sick of the sight of getting passed on his right shoulder by Germa this week. Well, Femke Vol and Lika Klava were part of the Netherlands team that won European indoor relay gold in this arena in Torun last year. And to get to the break, it's Lika Klava at the bell, keeping a little bit of an eye on the clock as Boll comes up on her shoulder. These two know each other extremely well, train alongside each other in the high performance Netherlands set up. And Femke Boll now with Kazmarek and Sviti Esetic starting to close for the Polish representation. But it's Femke Boll now starting to move away. Klava coming under pressure from Kazmir around the outside. But Femke Boll, whose season's best has been 50.72 so far as Kazmarek finishes strongly. And it's going to be just inside that from Femke Boll on this occasion as she takes the victory from Kazmarek, Sviti Esetic and Klava. Well, it was a convincing win, wasn't it, from Femke Boll? She knows that she just has to let her training partner go. She's got more speed than she has over the 200 meters. And I'm just looking, it's rounded down to 50.64. Oh, and that's an agonizing one hundredth of a second away from Femke Boll's personal best, which was actually set in this very arena in Toran at the European Indoor Championships last year. Away they go. Shakir got a decent start. Szymanski on this near side as well. It is Damian Shakir at the moment, striding away for Poland, who takes it from Szymanski and Bolosian. Damian Shakir, for the moment, the king of Torun. 
7.5 for Shakir. It looks like he can hardly believe what he's strung together over two rounds there. A scintillating performance from the home favourite. Oh, it really was. And um, we're just looking at the time. Wow, it's rounded down by three hundredths of a second. No wonder he's celebrated 7.48 seconds. That's fourth on this year's world list. And uh, that's got to be a national record. I'm trying to find it as it quick is. as I can. I think he shattered it. National record for Damian Shikia. Well, he's in tears. What a performance. We just wonder whether his heat earlier on, he, he performed so well in his heat, and you're just thinking, is that a flash in the pan, or has he got that in his legs again? He was even better second time around. The Polish fans, his friends and family can't believe it. It is a national record for Damien Shakir. He's got plenty of uh, compatriots to challenge her. We're underway then in the women's 1500 meters. As expected, a bit of bumping and barging on the inside as the athletes settle down in the early stages. And the pacemaker, Lemis, has been tasked with taking these through in that world record pace, Jenny. Well, it's very fast, Chris. Uh, 31 seconds for 200 meters, 62 seconds, 400, 133. You I mean, you can do the maths, can't you? But uh, 800 meters in two 3.5, which is crazily fast, but that's what we need when it's a world record attempt. And uh, I have never seen a field strung out so much in the first 150 <laughs> meters. She's absolutely miles clear. She's taken the bell then, 3.53.09 is her world record time. She's gonna have to cover this last lap in about 30 seconds or so. Yeah, she would have to be inside uh, 30 seconds and it's really, really tough, but uh, the world record has gone, but we have to give it to, to Gade here. She's doing absolutely brilliant. This will be one of the fastest times in the world this year. Well, see guys swinging round. It's been a solo run for her. Unfortunately, it would have looked like for the second time in the space of a few days, she's just going to miss out. It's a terrific run, though. 3.54.78 for good Af Seaguy. It puts her second on the all-time list. She has the top couple of times. An unbelievable performance. 3.54.78 behind a host of Ethiopian teammates who come in behind, who never got near her today. She had her eyes on her own world record. She was a lot closer than she was the other day, of course, after that early fall, but unfortunately just falling short. Well, if we need an indication to know whether uh, Sigai is in good shape, was that a legitimate world record attempt? It certainly was. Away they go, Svoboda does get her start. Thompson Hero will have to come. Skikovska going well on the inside. Svoboda gets the win. What a scalp. For the Polish athlete, just outside seven seconds, she's trying to take it in. She's just beaten the double Olympic champion over 60 meters. Well, she's just trying to process it. I think she's still actually looking for the result, actually. I'm sure we'll get some emotion at some point when she realizes. There we go, it's been rounded down by 10703. And there we go, she said, me, me. Yes, it is you, Eva Svoboda.